This week your brains will explode when the puzzle breaks your soul. It's a soul breaker, the puzzle. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy and Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash scam school. Welcome to the show that's like your flotation device in a sea of booze. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with two incredible puzzle challenges. Now, one of which I was able to solve, the other one fooled me very, very badly. But regardless, they're both classics from the legend, Martin Gardner. Let's check them out. Dude, this is awesome. All the way from Canada, we have Greg and Aaron. It is a pleasure to meet both of you guys. Now, Greg, you were telling me you were a magician, actually. Yeah. All right, now that's awesome to have a magician on Scam School, but the bad news is your skills will do nothing to help you here because we're going to do a kick-ass puzzle. Recently, Richard Wiseman put up on his awesome blog a couple of Friday puzzles that totally fooled me. And I thought I'd read everything that Martin Gardner had done. Somehow, these had slipped by me. These are some classic Martin Gardner puzzles. Now, you know the rules. If you guys are able to noodle them out, free drinks for both of you. But if you give up, I will sell you the answer for only one tasty beverage. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. All right, done and done. Now the first one is very straight up, very simple. I'm just gonna use some matches to spell this out here. What am I very sloppily writing right here, Greg? 100. 100, that's right. First, you already got the first one right off the bat. <laughs> no, 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 we start off with 100, and the challenge is to go from 100 to cat by only moving two matches. If you pull it off, buy a drink. If not, I'll sell you the answer. From 100 to cat in two matches. Can you do it, sir? Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you muscle up. You're like, I don't know, boss. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Feel free to move it around. I'll reset it as many times as you want. You have unlimited tries. That's the nice thing about scam school. I need the expert help. There we go. What do you think? It's something clever. <laughs> something sneaky. Do you want help or do you want me to do it? No, I need your help. Okay. What if it's like inverted? Give it a try. If I go one. Like that. That's C O T upside down. <laughs> Two matches when you move? Well that's that's one match you move because you picked it up there and you set it there. Which I like the fact that it appears to spell con upside down. <laughs> <laughs> uh so this um well that's two moves. No. What do you think? I need your help, Aaron. I don't know. Help me. I don't know. Um, now you mess me up. I like where I was going. Okay, do it. Okay. Oh, we have a winner! I can't believe it! <laughs> that was awesome! What's, fu what's funny is I thought I was off the hook because she nailed it right from the beginning with the upside downness, and then you being an ass, you totally started like, no, baby, it's got it's got to be con like this. Let me get you off that. I uh, totally overthought that one. <laughs> now this is what's great about this one is that the first half is, of course, thinking upside down. That's the reason that I set this up for you guys this way. And I wonder if part of the reason you were able to solve it is because you were already on this side position, so it already looked a little, a little bit kind of wonky to you. But when most people look at it as 100, people will spend a bunch of time trying to figure out how to make this cat or whatever. There's two answers for this one. The first one is, as you did, you could take the zero, make it into a C, the one, make it into an upside down T, and then just move this up and you get cat. Or you can do it this way, where you take one off the top, put it on the bottom, and then move this one up so you form C A T cat. But already, dude, Greg, bad news. I know. Your ladies, she's smarter than you. That's okay. But yeah. the good news is we have a chance for redemption. You can school her after we thank our sponsors. You down for it? Done and done. Yes, yes, yes. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.9% .9 uptime 
free 24-7 support and no annual commitment. But I know what you're asking. How can GoDaddy make me famous? And the answer is simple. Why don't you jump into our Domain Smack contest? Domains are so ridiculously cheap through GoDaddy.com that you can register them just to mock your friends. Think of an insulting, demeaning domain and register it and point it to your friend's website. You could get political. You could get activist. It doesn't matter. Just think of an insulting domain and register at GoDaddy.com with promo code SCAM10 at checkout. And not only will you get the domain for about 8 bucks, they will forward it anywhere you want absolutely free. Once you've registered your domain smack, write me directly at Brian at Revision 3. If I like it, we'll feature it right here on the show. Not only are you getting cheap domains, not only are you getting to insult your friends, but you're getting famous too. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, you're already ahead. You're beating the bank as it stands now. Now, if this was a casino, you guys would be smart. You'd get up and leave, but instead it's scam school where I'm going to make you go a second puzzle. Same thing goes here. If you're able to solve this one, that's a free beer for both of you. If not, I'll sell you the answer. We'll call it even. It'll be a tie between us. You're already up with your smart cat 100-ness. This is the setup right here for the puzzle. Now, in this case, I used matches. And what I like about matches is that you can reset them easily. If you could actually draw this on a piece of paper. But the idea is, is that I need you to draw one line. It doesn't have to be a straight line, but it has to be a connected, number of matches that will divide this shape into two exactly identical shapes. Two totally identical shapes, all right? Now, the reason I like about matches is because you can move them around, you can play, whereas if I drew this on a piece of paper, you'd write and then you'd have to scribble it out or use pencil and it'd get all messed up. So you guys get all the matches you need. Feel free to noodle it out. This will be interesting, because like, you did good with the word play, but I don't know, the ladies in geogram, or I said geogram. How about, how about crosses? You think there are two crosses? Yeah, try that. All right, now that's good. You got you got like two X's there, but the thing is, is the rule was you need to make one line one to line. split them into two identical pieces. But I like the way you're thinking by splitting it all up. One line. One line. One continuous line. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Yeah. So we can't go straight down. You could. You could just go do, 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 all the way but across. They wouldn't be equal. They wouldn't be equal and they wouldn't be the same. And we can't go this way because this is, this is odd. Yes. So we need... And I guess I should point out you can't alter the existing shape. That... That's, some, that's something you don't have to worry about when you <laughs> draw it on a piece of paper. But yeah. with matches, you'd be like, here, let me fix this. Okay. It's not the same. It doesn't have to be in a straight line. It just has to be a continuous line. See, this is when I start sweating. When they start repeating back exactly my <laughs> phraseology, I know they're paying too much attention. Yes. <laughs> we can add to the outside. Outside of the box thinking, I like it. Literally outside of the box thinking. This is a dangerous mind. She thinks too smartly. You stump us. You know what? I love the way that you guys are thinking, but out of fairness, I gotta be fair and say that the solution I'm thinking of doesn't involve adding anything to the outside. Uh. As fun as it would be to watch you guys spiral down the wrong <laughs> wrong direction. Okay. Thank you for a pretty good one. <laughs> I appreciate it. If it makes you feel better, this one fooled me very badly. I totally gave up, and I just had to look at the answer. I couldn't handle it. It's hurting my brain, Brian. <laughs> Are you calling it? Are you saying that it's an even match? Can we all buy our own beers? <laughs> Perhaps. Are you giving up your prize? Yes, we give up. All right. I will give you the answer, but you know what we got to do first? got to thank our sponsors. 
Okay, gang, let's talk about Audible. Audible Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75 thousand titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, played back anytime, anywhere. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Here's the best part. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scan school and you get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. 100% free, dude. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scan school for your free audiobook. And you know who I recommend? I recommend you check out Born Standing up written and narrated by steve martin it's totally unabridged and if you have ever wondered what it's like to pay your dues to get started in performing and magic and comedy in being an entertainer this absolutely nails it it's a story of how steve martin started at age 10 selling guidebooks at disneyland and ended up with the biggest concert draw in the history of stand-up by 1978 more importantly why he walked away from stand-up afterwards and the best part is it's totally free head on over there all right, solution time. The drinks are ordered. We've paid our way. And you guys are about to kick yourself when you see the answer. Because part of the way I fooled you was by handing you so many matches. I wanted to insinuate that it's a complicated solution. In truth, you only need two matches. And all you have to do is go one. Oh. <laughs> Now the trick is, is it's this shape with a plus with one extra square, and you get a plus with one extra square. Oh, dude, and you have that awesome face of the hurt feelings which makes me feel good, which means I have succeeded in breaking your heart, and that is what Scam School is all about. Thank you guys so much, well done. Thanks. Thank you. (laughs) Now remember, anytime you're doing one of those puzzle tricks, there's a chance somebody may bust you out, in which case, be gracious about it. Buy them a drink and move on. That's why you know so many good puzzles. Sooner or later, you're gonna stump them. Second of all, we wanna thank Richard Wiseman. Make sure to head over to his blog, where he has new puzzles every single Friday. Make sure to check out his videos as well. They're freaking awesome. If you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam, hit me up at brianatrevision3.com. And I wanna hear your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school, or find out when I am in your hometown, or when I'm appearing live on the internet, you name it. Hit me up at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, make sure to join us because we are going to explain how convincing people you are a third generation classical guitarist can somehow make you a dollar. Till then, come back to the bar. Next week, make sure to join us because we're...